day seven. Yes, we've made it to Friday. We had a pretty great night last night on top of Rocky Mountain. Uh, it was pretty windy though. We woke up and I'm pretty sure it was, I read that it was about 30 to 45 mile per hour winds. So right now we're on the other side of the mountain so it's not as windy, which is fabulous. <laughs> Still really cold, but uh, we're in good spirits today. Tomorrow we're gonna head into Hiawassee. So today we're shooting for Deep Gap Shelter just outside of Dix Creek Gap so we can have a short morning to Nero into Hiawassee. Well, gotta go climb Trey Mountain next. Welcome to the top of Trey Mountain. It's quite a climb, but we got views on all sides. It's worth the climb, but man, that was a tough one. How do you feel? That one was tough. <laughs> that one was really tough. <laughs> it's now nice and sunny, fairly warm. Someone's coming down the trail. What's up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. Love the shorts. Thanks. <laughs> How are you doing back there, Rachel? I'm good. I am ready to do laundry and have a shower tomorrow. Can't wait. That'll be tomorrow. And there's a restaurant there called Daniel's Steakhouse. That really isn't a steakhouse. It's more like a fried chicken buffet. And it is awesome. I cannot wait. We'll see you there. So let me share with you a quick interaction I just had. On the last probably five miles, I guess I didn't um, plan my water situation great. And uh, about two miles away from the nearest water source, ran out of water and uh, just figured I was gonna have to suck it up and make my way there, but I was getting real thirsty and I would heard that uh, the source wasn't a great one and that it may not have water. And so I came across this section hiker who was coming south on the trail and um, I asked him if he knew anything about the water source and he said it was a full good water source and then offered me, uh, he gave me, filled up half of my water bottle with fresh water. So, I mean, trail magic is alive. There's a lot of just really, wonderful good-hearted people who just want to be kind and so it was it really saved my butt there and I'm very appreciative so I don't know your name but thank you man if you ever happen to come across this video you're great we made it to deep cap I'll take you down. Saturday, which means we've been out here a whole week. Crazy, it went by super fast. Um, we're excited to be going into town today. We slept nice and cozy and dry in Deep Gap Shelter last night because it did start to rain. Uh, so we didn't have to pack up in the rain, which is really nice. And it's currently not raining, just nice and foggy. A few more miles and we'll be at Dick's Creek Gap and headed into town. Oh, and I almost forgot. So when you're staying in a shelter, here's a through hiker tip. Stay with your head in the center of the shelter instead of up against the wall. That's where the mice like to run. And yes, there are lots of mice that live in the shelters. And second through hiker tip, leave your backpack zippers open, like especially on your hip belts if you put snacks in there, so they can go in and do whatever they need to do and then get back out instead of trying to chew a hole in. Cause last night one went in my hip belt, chewed up a bunch of tissues, but then left me alone. So those are my tips for today. So 
So we made it to Dick's Creek Gap. We are here. We did 3.6 miles in about an hour and a half. All we need now is a hitch. Will this be our hitch? We're gonna try. Nope. You are not gonna believe who is picking us up. It's like an Audi. <laughs> the craziest people that pick you up. People with trucks won't pick you up. People on Audis, they will. I can put my pack in my lap, man. I appreciate it. So we made our hitch into town. We're at Ingles. Gotta get some super glue, fix my shoes. I got a little, little dink in them. Gotta get some new smart water bottles. We're here. So grocery shopping's done. Finished up at Angles. Walked through Hiawassee a bit. I'm not gonna lie, the main reason I came through Georgia is to get to this restaurant right here. Fried chicken, all you can eat. So looking forward to this. This is what I'm talking about, folks. Best fried chicken in the South. So we've just checked into the Holiday Inn Express. Take you into the room. We're here. Good morning. We had a wonderful stay in Hiawassee and we just got dropped off by Miss Ann, who is one of Jake's mom's friends from college. And she just dropped us off. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching our videos. And today we are headed up into North Carolina. It's and what's, a big day. what's significant, significant about being right here on day nine? Okay, so in 2016, it took us three days to get out of Hiawassee because I had severe shin splints. So today is a really big day for me because I only had to spend one night. We got clean, clean clothes, and we're walking out with smiles on our face. <laughs> Hello YouTube viewers, I've got a challenge for you. Every day, I'm gonna do 100 push-ups because I wanna keep my upper body strong. I'm going to do it over the course of the whole day, not 100 at a time, but I wanna see if y'all will do it with me. In the comments, tell me if you're going to. I'd love to get some support and encourage other people to stay fit and active and I look forward to hearing the response. I think that's eight, nine, 10, and that's 20 for today. 80 more to go. We'll see you out there. So we've done half a mileage for the day, which means it's time for lunch. Also means time for push-ups. Just up ahead. What's special about that tree? Oh, you know, just the Georgia North Carolina border. Say what? Yeah, peace out, Georgia. It's time for North Carolina. 13, one down, 13 to go. All right, guys, we're hunkered down at Muskrat Creek Shelter. Looks like it's gonna rain, so. We'll see what the tent does this time. <laughs> Round two. I think it was user error last time. Yeah. Talked to someone else who has the duplex tent and he showed me some pointers. So I'm excited to see, decided to see it work out. <laughs> Let you know in the morning. Night guys. Okay.